Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to learn an amazing Python library that is called Bamboo Lib and it provides you graphical user interface for data frames. Before going into details, let's have a quick look how it looks like. <laughs> So here, here, let's say here is just a Python, uh, you know, data data frame that we have loaded by using pandas. Um, it's it's a Titanic data set. If I, I click on this button, a magic will happen. Again, this is an ordinary data frame, um, but I can select columns from it. For example, I just want to have name, um, survived column, sex column, and age column. Let's say I just want to display only these four columns, right? Here we go. And also you can apply a number of filters over it. You, you just name it uh, name the filter and, and it is available. So let's say I want to filter the rows. Okay. And I want to select the rows. Um, let's say all the all the passengers that have age greater than let's say 18. Okay. And let's execute it. Here we go. So now these all these are all the passengers that have age greater than 18. You can see over here. Right. One more thing, it also produces automatically the code for that filter for you. Isn't it amazing? Also, you can, um, I mean, you can play around with a lot of things over here. Let me get back to it uh, uh, in a while. Also, you, you can you can also export the data frame as well. You can uh, visualize the data as well. Let me get back to it in a while. First of all, let's see how it works. How, how can we install it? So here is the... Uh, here is a website of Bamboo Lab where you can find the documentation of uh, Bamboo Lab and I will provide you the link of it. So if you go to, you go over here, install Bamboo Lab in a new Anaconda environment, it shows you, it, it, it takes you over here, right? So all you have to do is you have to copy these, let's say 22 lines. If you click over here, it will copy and you have to paste it in, if you open your, your Anaconda, you have to paste it in uh, in PowerShell prompt, right? If you launch it, and you just have to paste it over here, and then uh, let me let me do it for you. Actually, I, I have already installed it, so I don't have to install it again. So if you paste it over here, if you run, if you hit enter, it will take a few, uh, you know, it will take a few moments, but everything will be installed. Once everything is installed, what you have to do is you have to go to any directory. And in new, you don't have to select Python 3. You have to select Bamboo Lib. It should be there because a new environment is, is, is created for you guys, right? So if you go to Bamboo Lib and a new notebook would be there, right? And then if you go back to your Python, here, here, here there will be some, some test code available, available that you can just copy and paste, right? Let me just copy it from here and let me paste it over here and let's run it. So what, what's happening over here is it is importing Bambolib as BAM, then it is importing Pandas, and then what is happening is it is just displaying a data frame, which data frame from BAM it is getting Titanic data set, right? That famous Titanic data set. So uh, I'll also let you know how can you, how can you display your own custom data set over here. No problem with that. So, so here we go. Uh, this is uh, something that we were uh, playing around with it right so uh, let's let's create a plot let's do some data visualization let's uh, let's draw a scatter plot right and then on x axis let's have ages and on y axis uh, what should be on y axis let's say um <laughs> uh, let's say on y axis we have sex uh, actually, sex is a is a binary uh, variable. That's why it looks like this. Let's change this. Um, uh, let, let's change it with uh, with P class. Uh, yeah, P class has only three attributes. That's why it looks like this. So I mean, you can you can play around with it. You can change the nature of plot. You can make it a bar plot. You can make it a histogram plot. This is how a bar plot looks like. So a lot of data visualization is also covered under the package of Bamboo Lib. Right now, I want to let you know how can you how can you open your own custom data set over here. So let me have let me add a new uh, a few new cells over here. So let's say custom data, right? 
and here I'll say pd dot read csv and here I'll, I'll paste the name of my data set for me if I go to my folder here is a data a data set of houses I'll just copy it and where is my where is my anaconda here it is so I'll paste it over here and then I'll just execute it here we go here we go you can see so my my custom house data set is now being displayed over here you can display any any of your data set um, this date column doesn't look nice right you can see the it doesn't look nice so let me change the format of date I have to write a code no I don't have to so I'll go to search transformation um, there should be a okay so we have a to date time transformation so I'll click over here I'll, I'll select the column which is date column and then I'll check which format do I need so let's say I need this format right so I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here and then I'll execute it great you can see that my date column is being updated right and also I have this code over here since I ran a transformation it also provides me the code for for that particular transformation it has a number of trans tra uh, transformations I mean you can sort the rows you can group by aggregation you can group by uh, you can join it you can change the column type you can you know clean the column names and stuff like that I mean a lot of a lot of um, uh, transformation are available over here also um, I mean you can do almost all your data pre-processing over here your data analytics over here so this is a one window library that will help you doing a lot of things without writing a lot of messy code so yeah that's about it um, you, you can apply a lot of filters and then you can export that um, that latest data frame from here right so so yeah I mean you, you can also check the correlation matrices and I mean what not what not everything is available over here you can you just have to explore it a little bit um, also I would highly recommend you to read these documentations so that things will become easier for you guys so again guys I am Sajad Mustafa your AI sciences instructor if you are new to artificial intelligence please subscribe our channel we, we provide a lot of help for those guys who are absolute beginners in data science thank you very much